Yo, what's up y'all, Surreal303, another video, this is the African Cichlid Tank, um, for those of y'all that don't know, it's got a little bit of everything going on from all three lakes, I believe still anyway, um, eventually this will go probably to full Tanganyika, and I've been saying that for a long time, but I haven't sold off these fish, they do well together, a lot of people say you can't make this happen. Um, actually got into it with some people on AquariumAdvice.com about it a few months back, talking about there'd be too much aggression, the filtration wouldn't work. Um, you can't have two frontosas and a tretocephalus. Um, tons of stuff. Anyways, still the same fish from like a year ago if you scroll back in the videos. Filtration is fine, tank is crystal clear, aggression is minimal. I mean, you can see right now, they're just chilling, you know what I mean? Um, for those of you that do African cichlids, that's what I would advise. You overstock. You know, obviously, you have to understand these fish aren't going to be in this tank for life. That's what a lot of people get misconstrued when they see these videos. They're like, oh, you can't keep all those fish in that tank. Like, yeah, no kidding, son. We're not leaving them in there for life, okay? Some of those fish will stay in there for life, like those calvis, the compressiceps, um, you know, the small stuff, they can stay in there for life. But, uh, yeah, I'm not expecting to keep two huge frontosa, two huge male venustis, you know, all those haps, you know, the pheno, all those giant fish aren't going to fit, obviously. So, if you think I don't know that, um, spare me the, uh, comments and the nonsense and just recognize that I fully understand this tank will not harness these fish at adult size now with that being said um I'm gonna move up in here you guys have all seen this that are subscribed I still got all the fish that I've always had um, I really never lose anything out of this tank the Venustis, the fronts the trets the Obliquidens, the Fino, the Peacocks, the Ventralis, um, the Yali, the Calvis, the Compressiceps, um, the Gelidochromis down there, the Sinocat, the Loaches, um, the Exochromis right here if I didn't mention that, the Electra, I mean, yeah, they're all there. Um, this is what you can do, African Cichlid fans. If you want a nice tank, you pack yourself some cichlids in there. I've had a lot of these fish for a long time. A lot of these fish I've had for over a year, some two years-ish. Like those Venustas, I've had since literally they were about an inch. And they are, you know, probably nine inches or so right now. Um, the fronts I've had since they were tiny. A lot of these fish I've had since they were tiny. And I've grown them all out. Some of them I've added. But... That's that. So, I'll go ahead and cut this off. I just wanted everybody to get a quick look. This is a pretty tank. Probably one of my favorite tanks as far as visually pleasing goes um, in the house. Right inside the front door. This is kind of the tank that greets you as you come in the house. But, yeah, Surreal 303. I'm coming up on four minutes, so I'm gone.